Even Christianity is, is something made. No, the main no, thing, no, 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 the main no. thing, the main thing, the main thing, brother, is the holy book is not a religion. It's a law. Okay. And it's got to be implemented. So what do you call people that believe in the Quran? I am believer of the Quran. What's the name of your belief? Believer, believer on the Quran yes, as a law. Okay. As a law so, should be implemented. So who do you follow? I don't follow no one. I follow God, the Quran, the order of the, of the of the book from God. So who revealed the book? Who revealed the message? The message, the book was brought down by God Himself. Okay. So but who revealed the message? How did you? How did? How did it get written down? How did the message? It was written revealed? by Himself, God, and brought down. Yes. This is. Uh, yes. Yeah. This is a mistake, my friend. I think so. I want to encourage you to come to Christ because, you know, it don't matter where you've been, what you've experienced, what challenges you have, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you and he wants to have a relationship with you. And, and one thing for sure is, I've shown you one simple verse. Okay. So hold on, let me say this, let me say this. In Surah 19, verse 30, how can a baby, according to, I, I know, yeah, I know, I just want to, I'm, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. How can a baby talk? From the cradle. The translation exactly. is wrong. Okay. I showed you five translations. It's wrong. Anyway. Because, because anyway. I told you it's wrong because I know the language. So, so, yeah. so if you're being... My English yeah, my English is not as good as Arabic. It's a thing. But it's not bad. You know Arabic. You read the Arabic in front my of English me. English as well is not and bad. You, and you know the cradle is... Easily, is I, I didn't know it. You show me. Exactly. That means it's a baby. Exactly. You know? Exactly. But I told you, it's so strange. how can a baby, a baby cannot talk? speak? Okay. Anyway, now, what? now I will tell you. I will tell you one thing. You say in Jesus or, or Christianity? No, but okay, okay, okay. let me. Know, let me tell you. Christianity. This country you consider it to be Christianity? Country is founded on the values of Christianity. Okay. So that all European countries, I would say, yeah. Do you agree? Well, it's not. It's it's. Founded, right? The, yeah. They have Christian I mean, values. Okay, okay. Churches everywhere. Yeah, free Even speech. Almost all Europe, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. The Christianity, they have legalized gayism and prostitution. This, this is disgusting. This is yeah, son, this is the Christian. Now they don't talk about this. Listen, listen. If they were real good, good as you're saying, prostitution and gayism is a bad thing. They should listen. eliminate it. Listen. So, in this Muslim, is a Muslim current. countries, Muslim countries, although I don't like them, but the so-called prostitution and gayism is illegal. Okay. In so many Muslim countries. Okay. So in, in, it in a way. So you if you, if you I know you have some bad things, other bad things. Okay. 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 Because they are hypocrites and liars. Okay. I was going to get into yeah. that. The hypocrisy yeah. in the Islamic countries. But the corruption in Christianity is much more bigger. There's no corruption. Brother. Corruption. Of There's no corruption. It's a free state. Is no corruption. Listen, Christianity is not getting involved in the politics. The country has Christian values because it's been blessed and has benefited from the Christian values. So take, for example, the treatment of women. There was a point in this country where they weren't allowed in the same room. Even go back to the Roman Empire. Women weren't in the allowed in the same room as men. Now, we are here existing now. We are here. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, excuse me. Look better and good. Okay. So don't take me back. Wait, just wait, wait. So Christianity has liberated us. Christianity has transformed this country to have something which most countries don't have. Like if you look around us, it's like a multicultural um, little village here. You know, we have the freedom to say what we want want without fear of persecution okay the freedom is too you big. can't do that you can't do that in saudi arabia okay i agree with you you okay. can't do that in yemen uh, yes i agree with you, you cannot do that in bangladesh i agree with you cannot do that in pakistan it's true but, okay so it's true but i told you the so, good thing is about the muslims and the bad thing is about christian and the good thing is about christian yeah. you understand so the, the gays and all that yes i can show you a bible verse 1 Corinthians 6, Galatians chapter 5, 
it says if someone is effeminate if someone is homosexual they will not inherit the kingdom of god so they are on their way to hellfire brother they are in your church in your chair you i'm sure in your chair you call father to someone who is not your father okay if That's i said correct. if i said look correct or not correct if i said we respect if i said you are a pedophile if i said that to you how do you feel with when I, if i said that to you would you be happy what's a pedophile a pedophile if i said you're you, you like children you like to have sex with children no you would be you wouldn't feel nice no it's not true exactly so as christians we're not supposed to judge it's god that does the judging well you have to punish you have to so, punish as 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 a as a so, father so you this is the thing as a father this is the thing as this a father the, of your children this if is your the children thing. does something is bad towards other children or they behave different yeah it's your responsibility to teach them to tell them what's wrong and what is right you understand yeah and, and this teaching come from where and that the teach yes yeah, teaching come, comes from the bible from the from the creator it comes from the bible from the creator so we have 10 commandments we have a foundation of morality yes this morality should be implemented yeah. in the children and this, your children and this is the thing the way so one of the values that we have as christians is that teaching and training begins at the home in the home so it's incumbent on upon us to raise our children in the right manner exactly. but also also but like, how like come they can become, become prostitutes and gays this is not because of the it's not because of the church it's not because of the bible because of the course, bible because of the course. bible is is counter culture the bible is saying don't do those things Okay, well, the Bible is saying don't do those things. Uh, but it's not implemented that means. It's just so, 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 but, but, some people but, 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 some people not. We're not as Christians, we don't get involved necessarily uh in politics. What is politics and what is Bible? But we do Bible have Christians. Law, law, sorry, 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 sorry. We have Christians in politics. And they have Christian values and they are contributing to the tightening of immorality so so there are christians that are speaking up and the bible does encourage that but we don't we're not in the we're not in the uh business or we're not in the ministry or we're not in you know um um the realm of controlling people why not control because we believe in grace that the lord jesus christ he had his hands pierced with a crown of thorns shed his precious blood so that people can come to the saving knowledge of him okay the police and to, the, and, you know and the police. to come to faith you know the police and in the him. army you know the police and voluntarily him. not by force police so that's army. why okay Could we don't we do, we're not in the business of if you still you cut your hand off every country has got that's police, what does. police and army every country has that right of course okay why what is the job of the police and what is the job of the army okay so they what, implement what the good value of what the people okay so and this army or the police are the children of christian okay no big no the values of the policeman or the institution of justice the, of, of the justice system comes from the bible okay where else where, it where the, where that, the corruption that, came from where, where it came from into, into it came from abroad from out it comes from you <laughs> me it comes from people like you and everybody else i'm talking yeah you're talking rubbish no no i'm talking about about it, the value of, of it, humanity telling me from you it, it comes from okay so there you go so so there we go yeah we have a situation where we have individuals with like i said just a different a different gospel a different message like it says in galatians 1 verse 8 it says that though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you let him be accursed what we have we have people that are just so how can i put it so in debt in debt to sin in debt to indoctrination in debt to 
false antichrist uh, 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 messaging that they cannot even see their right hand from their left and so we have um, we had a conversation uh, with this guy Jamal he said he was a scholar uh, we had to ask him the question what do you believe is the word of God he said he believed the Quran is the word of God and I said, well, how can that trump the Bible? That can't possibly trump the Bible. Because anyway, the Bible obviously came out before for the Quran. And so he was basically making the point, well, do you believe Jesus is God? How can uh, uh, um, God come down in the form of a baby? And I said, well, God manifested in the flesh. When we go to First Timothy chapter 3, 16, it says God manifested in the flesh. You know, I was seen upon the Gentiles and raised to glory okay and i asked him okay so islam is contradictory anyways because according to surah 19 verse 19 i'm going to go to it you see one of the greatest hypoc hypocritical perspectives that muslims overlook they never seem to um, uh, uh, pick up on it they say well how can God come down as a baby and I, I, and I said to him and I said to other Muslims are you applying human logic to the supernatural so they're using their own mind and they're applying it to the supernatural and I said explain this first and, I, and I'll be super quick here Surah 19 verse 29 says so she pointed to him they they said how can we speak to one who is in the cradle a child okay this was basically literally a baby in the cradle okay he was trying to say that the child was like 18 years old and clearly that's not true but anyway verse 30 says jesus then isa said indeed i am the servant of allah he has made me he has given me the scripture and made me a prophet verse 31 and he has made me blessed wherever i am and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as i remain alive and he goes on to say in verse 32 and made me dutiful to my mother and he has not made me a wretched tyrant and then it goes on to say in verse 33 and peace is on me the day i was born and the day i will die and the day i am raised alive wait a minute so you need to say all that i said just now was said by a newborn baby it doesn't make sense so this is clearly uh, Surah 19 verse 29 to 33 a verse that proves that if Muslims want to be hypocritical and say how can God manifest in the flesh then I'll show them this verse and say well how can a newborn baby speak from the cradle how is that even possible and I asked him do you know any baby anywhere in this God's green earth do you know any baby that can speak from the cradle i don't know any i don't know i've never seen a baby that can speak <laughs> i've never seen it's crazy yeah <laughs> everything isa everything isa and you know what's so crazy what's so crazy is that the same words i just read in surah 19 verse 29 to 33 you can find the exact word for word, letter for letter, in the Arabic gospel of the infancy of the Savior. This is a fake writing, it's a story, okay, with no author, it's a well-known Gnostic writing. This came out before Muhammad was born. So, what Muhammad done was he just took that story and he added it to his revelation that's it so simple so why are muslims and ignorant uh individuals 
trying to reason with something which has more credibility which is the story of the prophecy so when we look at uh, um, Isaiah 7 verse 14 God prophesies through Isaiah that a man okay will be born to a virgin and his name will be called Emmanuel and then we see in Matthew 1 verse 23 the fulfillment of that prophecy this happened thousands of years before it actually came to pass so we have evidence we've got the Dead Sea Scrolls Isaiah's in the Dead Sea Scrolls no different from my Bible today we have evidence of prophecy that a Messiah would come and manifest in the flesh that way but when we look at when we look at the um, the Quran we got a baby talking and the connection is to the Gnostic writing so guys don't believe the hype don't believe the lies the Bible has truly stood the test of time and so I just I'm gonna I, I'm gonna pray for this guy because you know he judged the Bible and I said if I judged you how would you feel and he asked me about um, why, are the, why is there sin in the world and I said because of people like you and everybody else so everybody's a sinner I'm not just I wasn't necessarily pointing just at him but everybody is a sinner but we need grace we need the fact that the Lord Christ died on the cross for our sins you know and he did that in accordance with Jewish tradition so I just want to I just say that you know Christ loves you Islam is finished I'm telling you it's over it's over man it's, yeah it's over because there's too much information and um, we're, we're kind of like in a sort of um, global age now where you can find the information easily and, and also you can't just say what you want you know you can't can't just say what you want exactly you can't just do you know what I mean like before to keep Islam a level you have to, they're lying you know they say oh the Torah is lost the Zabur is lost the Inju is lost it's lies without lies Islam dies man without lies Islam dies so guys we're on the right path you know the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the truth the Bible is true and I just want to encourage everybody to keep going and don't give up just keep going because you're on the right path now it's about maturity growth and, and understanding your faith properly so God bless you guys. God bless you guys.